I've been working for the Sunday Times for 20 years, hard to believe it's been that long, but I've seen so many changes in the newsroom um, and in newspapers during that time. Uh, when I be first began, I would often be the only woman in uh, meetings. Um, now that's really rare. You, you'd find yourself speaking for all women because you'd be the only kind of woman at the table. And I think that that's really not the case now. I think it's very important that we now embrace diversity more broadly and that newspapers have to, have to reflect the audiences that they serve. And if we're going to future-proof ourselves and go on being relevant, the people in the newsroom, the makeup of the newsroom, has to reflect the consumer much more. So for those reasons I've been um, campaigning a lot more broadly within the industry and within the Society of Editors to really nail some targets around diversity. The news is no good if it's or the, the paper's no good if it's put together by a whole load of a cadre of old white posh blokes. We have to embrace diversity more broadly whether that's more working class voices, more people from the north, not being so London centric, looking at how many people are privately schooled, ed, uh, privately schooled educated and also really making sure that we have enough women and enough people from um, BAME backgrounds within the newsroom. I think the role of the society in really establishing the importance of free speech and what that means has never been more important. In an era of fake news and when increasing intolerance is trying to shut down conversation, I think the society really exists to tell people why free speech matters. Now when it comes to free speech I'm a Voltairian. I believe there's no there's no kind of grey areas on free speech. You either have it or you don't and that means that you may hate what someone says but you'll defend to the death their right to say it as Voltaire famously said and I think that that's really important now. There are so many areas in the media where speech is beginning to be tried, people try to shut it down whether it's conversations around Islam or around trans people. It's really increasingly difficult in some places to actually even have those conversations. So I think one of the things that the Society of Editors does is to say it matters that we have these conversations, it matters that the facts are correct, argument matters based on facts and in an, in an era where fake news and also increasingly opinion but is becoming more and more polarised, information that you can trust is incredibly important and that's what real newspapers do, that's what the old brands, that's what Society of Editors is all about, is protecting that whole trade of news gathering and explaining why filleting and really working out the truth really matters. <laughs>